What's up guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel and another Art Road to the Knockout has been released. It's an SBC and it's Francis Coquelin, the OX Arsenal centre mid, now plays for Real and he's got a pretty nice card. To complete the SBC, you need an 85-rated squad, an 84-rated squad. Here is my 84-rated squad. Obviously, some people might think you could do it cheaper. For me, just get the squad completed and you get the player. So, here is Francis Coquelin, hopefully is a, uh... yeah, there we go, pack animation for the road to the knockout. A French centre in La Liga, it's always nice. You can partner with some good players, so hopefully um, he does play well. It's a nice looking card. Like I keep saying, these walkouts are fantastic. They work the pack animations. Um, and let's have a quick look at his stats. So, he is 85 rated centre mid. He is five foot nine, medium high work rate, which is very good for like a defensive midfielder kind of player. Three star skill with four star weak foot, controlled acceleration type, and he's right footed. He's hit his first donor. I think he's probably worth around maybe 60, 70,000 coins, which isn't too bad compared to he could go up to an 87 rated. He can play centre mid, right mid, or left mid. For me, looking at his base stats, centre mid is best position. Like I say, he's a Liga with Rio Real. He has got 78 acceleration, 77 sprint speed. So he's got good pace for the midfield. He has got good attack and positioning, 82. 69 finishing is not great, but decent shot power and long shots. For me, looking at these stats, I am actually tempted to put Hunter on him to get a pace and shooting up. So more or less everything is over 80. He'll be in the 80 squad, which is pretty amazing. His passing for midfield, 88 short passing, 85 long passing with good vision. So he can definitely kind of build a team where he can dictate the play from midfield. Dribbling as well, 85 reactions, 85 ball control, 84 dribbling, 82 composure is also fantastic. Uh, defending, because he's like a high defensive work rate, he's got an 85 defensive awareness, 84 standing tackle, 84 sliding tackle, and 83 interceptions. He should be, do you know what reminds him of? A little bit like a Kante kind of card, where he's good at everything. Um, he's got very good physicals as well, 90 aggression, 84 stamina, uh, 84 strength, should I say, 80 stamina and 81 jumping. Obviously, for some reason this is bugged out, but basically if he wins his next two games, well, if he wins two more games in the uh, Europa League, he will get an upgrade. If they qualify out of the group, he'll get another upgrade. So he could go up to an 87. Um, and he's only got one play style, which is slide tackle, which is always fun. It's a defensive uh, kind of play style for a defensive player so it's kind of what you want so what i'll do i'll build a squad around him we'll get into a few games and hopefully well the review will follow and hopefully he is fantastic So, road to the knockout, Francis Coquelin is a very good midfielder. So I played him in two different ways. He played three games, two goals, one assist for me. For one game, I had him stay back, block the kind of like that shield in front of the defence, kind of intercepting and tackling, which he did fantastically. He did that amazingly with his strength, 
aggression, defensive awareness, interceptions and standing tackle is exactly what you want from like a defensive midfielder because he reads the play. Interceptions are big on this game because they just are. Um, so if you want a defensive, defensive midfielder, I like get someone who's got good interceptions, which Francis Cockerland does. Other games, I pushed him on a little bit. I've got to get forward of the attack. And like I said, he scored two goals and got an assist. His finishing is definitely 69. He uh, he's got some great goals for me, but he also missed some sitters. So if you're wanting a goal scoring fielder who can score like loads of goals, maybe don't use this guy in that position. He can score them. He has got a good shot on him when like one out of five is a good shot. But like I said, he just miss, did miss a few opportunities. So for me, playing him, I was playing a more like a defensive role. Um, obviously, you can't play CDM, which is upsetting, but you can play centre mid. So if you want a centre mid that stays back, especially with that high attacking work, uh, defensive work rate, he's your perfect man. He's not that expensive, and you can build really good league squads. Like I use Modric, you've got like Inform Lewandowski, you've got Bellingham. You can build a really good team with him. So would I do this card? Yes, because I believe they could get out of their group which means he'll go up to an 87. And I think he'll be one of the most all-round midfielders you've got at the moment on the game. Um, so overall, I highly recommend doing this card. So leave a like, subscribe, and more reviews will be on the way.